Hi, it's Olga. Today I'm going to experiment with mixed media and create a masculine Christmas card. I'm starting by applying some frayed burlap distress ink onto an A2 size pattern paper with a blending tool. For my focal image I'm going to use a car from Road Trip Stamp Set by Stampers Anonymous. I'm going to apply two shades of permanent ink onto the stamp, brown and black one. I'm starting with a brown in the middle, then applying some black closer to the edges, and then kind of blending it all with a brown again. And I can stamp it now. I'm also creating a mask for this car image. I have simply stamped it on a scratch piece of paper and now I'm cutting it out. I'm using Stamp Cleanser by Ranger to clean the ink off the stamp. I'm just applying it with a dauber applicator and wiping it off with a paper towel. All the supplies I'm using are listed on my blog and in the description for this video. I'm going to position my mask over the image and tape it down. To stamp the next image from the set, I'm applying the same two ink colors exactly the same way I did for the car. The only difference is I'm going to stamp it off on a scrap piece of paper first and then use a second generation stamping on a card. Now I can remove the mask and here I have the little scene. To add some texture to the card I'm going to use the snowflake stencil and some transparent matte texture paste. I'm applying it all over the image with a spatula just like any other embossing paste. When the paste has just been applied, it looks like that. And here is what it looks like when it's dry. Completely clear. Now I'm going to trim the panel just a little bit. Then I'm applying some walnut stain distress ink. This texture paste actually resists the color and that means I can wipe the excess ink off with a paper towel and it will make the snowflakes stand out. The next step is going all over the edges with a paper distressor. And of course, a little bit more inking won't hurt. I have my craft card base prepared and now I'm attaching a check pattern paper followed by the stamped card panel that I have made. I will use a piece of burlap just to give some more holiday spirit to my card. To distress the fabric, I am pressing it right onto the ink pad and kind of swiping it along. Then I'm going to press the fabric through the polka dot stencil onto the fired brick ink pad. I'm attaching my burlap to the card using the hot glue gun. I've die cut some berry branches out of craft card stock and to create berries I'm using liquid enamel dots. Just squeezing out some drops and then I have to let them dry completely. And while they are drying I'm going to work on the inside of the card. 
have stamped this uh, fuel calculator image once with the black archival ink and now I'm going to stamp it again but I will use fired brick distress marker for the little car image in the center. Then I'm using two circle dies to cut out the images. One die turned out to be slightly larger than I need, so I will use the scissors to cut out the circle that shows miles traveled. I have distressed the edges with frayed burlap ink and now I'm aligning the two circles and punching a hole in the middle. Then I will set up an eyelet. And this will create a, fine, a fun interactive element, a real vintage fuel calculator. Now I'm sticking it to the patterned paper panel that I have pre-inked and uh, pre-stamped. This whole piece will go on the inside of the card. To create some holiday decorations, I'm feeding the twine through three jingle bells and tying a knot. I'm attaching the die-cut holly leaves and pine twigs as well as the berry branches on top of burlap. The bells will go on top of it all. I will stick the leftover branches on the inside of a card. As the last touch, I'm applying some metallic rub-on paint onto the leaves and branches as well as onto the stenciled snowflakes. This will add some shine, make textures stand out and bring all the elements together. And the card is finished. Here are some more tutorials that you might like. Thanks for watching and have a very Merry Christmas!